In the automotive industry, one of the simplest yet most often overlooked service plans is getting your oil changed. In the ATV industry, I'd have to say it's properly washing your ride and then following up with simple and easy routine maintenance. Putting your ATV away muddy means parts have more time exposed to moisture and dirt, allowing them to rust and corrode quicker. Not to mention, the more crud you pack in, the easier it is for dirt to work its way into the bearings, bushings, and other serviceable parts, causing them to wear quicker. And one of the best ways we've found to remove dirt, mud, and grime is slick off road wash. This little pouch makes one full gallon, and when paired up with the sprayer, makes cleanup quick and easy. The reason we dig slick so much is the fact that you don't need to pre-wash or brush wash your ride. Just spray on slick, wait three to five minutes, and go ahead and hose it off with a regular spray nozzle on your garden hose. Because slick is biodegradable and doesn't use acid, it won't harm your paint, plastic, bearings, or leave a sticky residue. Because ATVs and side-by-sides are in the mud and dirt so often, you can be dealing with copious quantities of both. So using a brush or pre-washing your ride may be a good idea to get that grass entangled mud off first. While washing your ATV isn't rocket science, it also shouldn't be the final step to the end of a good day's ride. After your rig is sparkling clean, pull out your specs and a grease gun and get to work. Take the time to do a once over of your ATV. Go ahead and grab your tie rods, give them a wiggle and check for excessive play. If your vehicle is chain drive, check the chain tension and look at all electrical connections to make sure none were damaged during your last ride. Most ATVs will be equipped with multiple front suspension Zerk fittings. You'll find the extra grease pushing out different areas and you can apply grease until you see it appear. A quick check of your owner's manual's maintenance section will show you all of the greasable parts of your ATV. And while you don't have to do this after every time you ride, if it regularly makes its way into your wash and maintain cycle, you'll be bucks ahead in the long run. If you don't ever change the oil in your car, it'll get dirtier, thicker with crud, and eventually be reduced to nothing, causing your engine to fail. This is the same basic concept of greasable parts. Wait too long, and failure is the result. My final step to the wash and service routine is to check your air filter or pre-filter, and if you haven't popped the top on your air box in a while, you might be surprised at what you find. Most times, a quick removal and inspection is sufficient. However, seeing as your ATV runs on fuel and air, using a dirty air filter is like running bad gas. It'll significantly decrease your ATV's performance. A new high-flow filter is cheap, easy to install, and adds performance. You know, ATV maintenance really isn't that hard. If you follow the simple steps of washing, greasing, and checking your air filter, you're late. You know, ATV maintenance really isn't that hard. If you check, oh crap, you know, ATV maintenance really isn't that hard. And if you follow the simple steps of washing, greasing, and checking your air filter, your ATV is more likely to be found out on the trails when others are in the shop.